Rome, the capital of Italy, is regarded as one of the world's most beautiful and historic cities. It has been a hub of power, politics, culture, and civilization for more than 2,500 years of its recorded history. Legend and tradition surround the city's founding, and as the years went by, lots of monuments, palaces, and religious structures were built in the city which now serve as stunning tourist attractions and relics of its illustrious past. So when in search of an enlightening, awe-inspiring, touring vacation, with interesting history and amazing historical monuments, Rome is exactly the place to be. While touring, there are different attractions at every corner, so where do you start from? Not a problem you should worry about because we are here with a list of the top 12 places to visit when visiting Rome. Stay tuned! Number 12. Catacombs of Rome. Let's kick off at this slightly spooky but fascinating destination. Known in Italian as the Catacomb di Roma, it was where the early Christians buried their deceased. Rome's catacombs are some of the oldest in the world. There are at least 40 of them, some of which were only recently rediscovered. For anyone whose interest lies in history, this is a place not to miss. It has some of the most precious collections of Christian artworks in the world. It also contains numerous early Christian sculptures and fresco samples from before 400 AD, as well as gold glass medallions. The catacombs, however, are frequently inaccessible at specific times of the day or on specific days of the week, just like many of the other historical places in Rome. So you may want to call in advance to confirm availability. Number 11. The Spanish Steps. A trip to the historic Spanish Steps is the next popular item on your bucket list. Francesco de Sanctis created the staircase in 1723, which ascends a precipitous slope between the Piazza Trinita Monte at the top and the Piazza di Spagna at the rear. You may find the steps really familiar. This is because they are often featured on television, beginning from the 1953 film Roman Holiday which starred Audrey Hepburn and Gregory Peck. The Spanish steps are a popular destination for most artists, painters, and poets to visit. So if you're looking for some inspiration, you will always find a cluster of artists at the top of the stairs ready to swipe on their easels. On the first landing of the staircase, a 19th century crib manger is displayed during the holiday season. Additionally, throughout April and May in the spring, azalea pots are placed over a portion of the steps, making for a great photo opportunity. Number 10. The Vatican Museum. Yes, there are tons of exciting activities to do in Rome, but if you're a museum lover or a history buff, go no further, this is your spot. The Vatican Museums in Vatican City, which Pope Julius II founded in the early 16th century, display artwork that the Catholic Church has amassed over time. The museums are found within Vatican City and are situated near the River Tiber. One of the largest art collections in the world is housed there, along with some of the most important spaces in terms of art, including Raphael's frescoes and Michelangelo's Sistine Chapel. The museums have approximately 70,000 works, of which 20,000 are on show. In 2020, despite the drop by 81% due to the COVID-19 pandemic, it still placed fourth on the list of most viewed art museums in the world. Number 9. St. Peter's Basilica. The bustling capital of Italy is completely packed with stunning attractions and one that just merits a visit is definitely this site. Located within the Vatican City in Rome, the Basilica is a Renaissance-style church constructed between 1506 and 1626. The Basilica is spacious enough to hold 20,000 people and is one of the largest domes in the world. It was created by various talented architects and artists, including the famous Michelangelo. The dome can be seen from many places throughout Rome, but until you move closer to the Basilica, you may not notice how magnificent it actually is. Visitors can climb to the dome's top and check out amazing scenic views across Rome. The stairway to the top consists of almost 500 steps in a quite dark and narrow stairwell. So if you're a little bit claustrophobic, it might not be the best choice for you. But for those who can, the breathtaking views will make it worth your energy. Number 8. Piazza Navona. 
Another top thing to check off your list of things to do in Rome is to visit the famous Piazza Navona Square. It was built in 86 AD by Emperor Domitian who wanted a new stadium for chariot races and naval battles. He chose the area of what we now know as Piazza Navona as the most suitable and proceeded to create an enormous, impressive stadium, not completely different in shape from Circus Maximus. While the square has had numerous changes over the centuries, if looked at carefully, it is possible to see the original shape and plan of the circus. The square is decorated with a breathtaking church and one of the most dazzling fountains in Rome, the Fountain of the Four Rivers, which is one of the most famously painted and photographed scenes in the city. Number 7. Baths of Caracalla Whilst many of the impressive architecture of the Roman Empire still functionally stand to date, the Baths of Caracalla lie in ruins, but this does not exclude it from being at the top of your touring list. Once Rome's second-largest bathing facility, the Baths could accommodate a significant number of people at a time. What is left of the once popular social meetup are brick walls and enormous vaults that have crumbled, yielding to the years of wear. It was built in the early 3rd century, with an intricately designed spa complex that held gymnasiums, libraries, and beautifully elaborate gardens within its premises. The baths, which formerly covered a space of 33,000 square meters and had numerous paintings and substantial granite columns, served as a tribute to Rome's outstanding architectural achievements. Although the majority of the beautiful architecture has collapsed beyond identification, the structure that still stands gives a very distinctive image of its lost grandeur. Number 6. The Pantheon. You definitely don't want to miss a visit to one of the best monuments in Rome. The fascinating building is known as the Pantheon of Marcus Agrippa or simply as the Pantheon. The building suffered some damage in the fire of 80 AD, but it was rebuilt and has been well maintained ever since. The dome of the establishment, also known as the Basilica of Santa Maria, is made of strengthened concrete and has a diameter spanning over 43 meters. But the biggest draw for so many tourists is the oculus. You might wonder, what is so fascinating about that? Well, as the day goes on, the inside of the Pantheon transforms into a massive sundial when sunlight enters via the oculus. It's as if the wall is telling the time, so this is absolutely something to keep in mind when visiting the building. Number 5. The Sistine Chapel. The Sistine Chapel is a portion of the Vatican Museum complex and is one of the most famous religious chapels in the world, boasting an astounding level of detail and iconography. The chapel is located in the Apostolic Palace in Vatican City and was extensively refurbished in the 1400s. It now serves as the site of the papal conclave when the new pope is chosen. The Last Judgment painting by Michelangelo and the ceiling artwork make up just a few of the Sistine Chapel's numerous intricate decorations that are particularly well known. These two beautiful works of art are regarded as some of the most significant and influential in the history of religion. Make sure you allot enough time to view this incredible structure and the surprises it contains. Number 4. Palatine Hill. Are you curious to know where the marvelous creation of Rome began? If you are, Palatine Hill is the place to visit. Palatine Hill, or Mons Palatinus in Italian, is one of the seven hills of Rome and one of the most important in the city's history. It is said to be where Romulus created Rome. It is also the spot the emperors chose as their home, to emphasize their symbolic connection with Rome's creator and, thereby, the legitimacy of their power. The hill is one of the oldest areas of the city and is sometimes referred to as the original nucleus of the Roman Empire. According to findings from archaeological excavations, people have been residing in the region since the 7th century BC. The location is now mostly used as a sizable outdoor museum, and the Palatine Museum is home to many artifacts retrieved from this and other ancient Italian locations. Number 3. Roman Forum. What to do next? Head down to this scenic and photogenic location to enjoy more of Roman history. The Roman Forum, also called Forum Romanum in Latin, is a rectangular plaza in the middle of Rome that is encircled by the remains of numerous significant ancient governmental structures. This area, which was formerly a marketplace, 
was known to ancient city residents as the Forum Magnum or just the Forum. It evolved naturally, and gradually over many centuries, in contrast to Rome's later imperial fora. The Forum served as the hub of daily life in Rome for many years, serving as the location of triumphal processions, elections, public speeches, criminal trials, gladiatorial contests, and the focus of business activities. Here, statues and monuments honored the notable citizens of the city. It has been referred to as the bustling center of ancient Rome and the most famous gathering place in all of human history. Number 2. The Trevi Fountain. The Trevi Fountain or Fontana di Trevi heads the list of the most popular fountains in Rome, if not the world. The Trevi Fountain is relatively new when compared to Rome's numerous historical buildings. It was built in 1732 by architect Nicola Salvi under Pope Clement XII. A significant symbol of the city, it's a top free attraction, drawing approximately 1,200 people to the site every hour. When visiting Rome, there's one activity that every tourist just has to do, which is to take part in a ritual coin toss. There's a myth that if you toss a coin into the Trevi Fountain, your return to the Eternal City is certain. A second coin thrown promises you'll find love. A third is assumed to guarantee marriage. It's a beautiful idea, which at the same time, generates a little revenue for Rome. Don't leave without tossing that coin. Number 1. The Colosseum. Finally, the top most attractive place to visit in Rome is the Colosseum. Located on Piazza del Colosseo, it is one of the most prominent monuments, not only in the Eternal City, but in the world. The stunning stadium is also known as the Flavian Amphitheater and can hold over 50,000 viewers. Its massiveness is truly enthralling to see in person. The fame lies not only in the building but in its impact on Roman life. It stands as a reminder of the old gladiator battles and those glory days. The center of old Roman indulgence, it's the place the emperor, his cohorts and the people of Rome would come to watch the different events. You cannot say you've been to Rome without visiting the Colosseum, so be sure to check it out. And that's a wrap. Which of the places would be top on your list of things to check out? The massive Colosseum or the creepy catacombs? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to like this video and share it with your friends if you have enjoyed it. And remember to subscribe to our channel 